Right, welcome back everyone. As you can see from the thumbnail, we're at Jeremy Clarkson's Diddley Squat Farm in Chipping Norton. So we're actually on the campsite that's just adjoining to the Diddley Squat Farm. Through that hedge there is actually um, Diddley Squat Farm. So this is a campsite, Chipping Norton campsite, and it's part of the Caravan Club. So it's a nice little um, park, this one, easy to find. And I say it's bang next door to the farm. Um, they got on site facilities we'll have a walk around the park a bit later on see what there's on on park and a little play park for the kids quite lucky tonight because uh, they do a fish and chip night on a friday night and a saturday night it's actually saturday night tonight so what we're going to do we're going to have um, chicken and pitters tonight with uh, some rice but we're going to still cook the chicken up so we're going to have chicken and chips basically stacy's going to head down to the the chip shop bar and get us some chips and then uh, i'm going to cook the chicken up here and i'll leave a little bit of time lapse on for this we have been over to the farm tonight um, for the last hour. It shuts at four o'clock in the afternoon. So we just walked, had a quick little walk across there at three o'clock and there was a queue, must have been 80 to 100 people still trying to get in the, the shop. But we bypassed the shop and went straight round the back into the um, bar and they do a, a little food catering trailer as well right there. So we went straight round the back and I just had some drinks out the back, just uh, sussing it out really. We will be having a walk around there tomorrow uh, one thing I did notice, they do have a lot of music in the background, so when we get down to the farm tomorrow, it'll probably have to have a bit of um, music over it, because obviously we'll get done for copyright otherwise, so we're going to get started cooking this chicken now. We'll have our tea, and we'll have a little walk around the campsite, and maybe just have a quick little uh, walk up to the Diddley Squat farm entrance, and just have a look while it's all quiet, and then I say in the morning, we'll head off there early and get in the queue, Hopefully we can have a look around the shop. So I think the shop opens at half nine. So we're going to get there for about nine. Just to give us a head start on the queue. So we're going to get cooking now and we'll see you in a minute. All right guys, so we've just got the old uh, camp stove lit. Just going to stick a bit of um, olive oil in the pan just to stop the chicken from uh, sticking. I'll just let that heat up for a minute. So we did get to this campsite this afternoon about one o'clock. You can't check in before one. It's a one o'clock check-in and you've got to be out by 12 the following uh, morning. So we did head down last night and we did find a little local car park in Chipping Norton just to spend the night there. So we'd done a, a night there just so we could get here in good time. So we weren't driving all in one day, basically. All that wasn't really far, to be fair, because we was going to stop halfway down. We was going to stop at Leicester, um, but the services went in. It was a welcome break and for the van they wanted £30 for us to stop at night so we didn't fancy paying that I say we found a nice little uh, free long stay car park stayed in there the night got up this morning um, had breakfast and then we got here for about half twelve uh, they let us in at about quarter to one which was uh, handy and I say our, our pitch actually backs onto um, the Diddley Squat Farm there is a pitch is down the far end behind us and there's actually a main road behind that and it's a bit quite noisy there so we're lucky we got the pitch up here actually because um, we were one of the first in the lady let us choose one so we chose a nice one up this end so what we've actually got here we've got some uh, chicken goose on just because they're easier, nice size to work with. And um, we ain't got to mess about dicing anything up. So could have got whole chicken breast, but I say we was going to do some pitters. So these work nice in the old pitter breads these do normally. But as I say, we got a bit of a bonus. There's a chip shop trailer on park on a Friday and Saturday. So we thought we are away, we'll treat ourselves. So we'll just let these um, flash off and uh, I will add a bit of seasoning to it, a bit of salt and pepper. We like a bit of Maggie seasoning as well, which is a, a nice liquid seasoning. Just keep them moving. So it is really, um, really very busy um, farm, this Jeremy Clarkson's one. I believe it's open Thursday to Monday. That's like a weekend thing and uh, queuing from nine till gone four o'clock basically. So expect to if you do come here expect to do queue if you want to go in the shop that is uh it's not too bad around the back at the bar and the um restaurant 
that was quite a nice steady flow round about there. Some nice views as well. We were sitting um, on one of the beer tables and I say it was a really lovely view and we, we will get a picture of that tomorrow. Right folks, so that's the chicken all cooked up now. Stacey's been to the chip van, we've got some chips with it and I've also got a bit of battered halloumi. I've stuck the chicken in the wrap so we're going to tuck into this now and we'll see you in a minute. Right folks, so we're in the Clarkson's farm now, it's all closed up now. So it's a lot quieter now, it won't be like this in the morning when we come. That's why we thought we'd come now and uh, get a quick look round while there's no one here. So there's the famous diddly squat sign that everyone gets a picture in front of. And that's for the queue for the shop there, isn't it? Yep. So tomorrow morning, all this will be people queuing all around here. A few hundred people will be here tomorrow. And this is his little farm shop. And you can just see there on the left of the shop, that blue machine, where you get your milk from. And at the top, you can see he calls it cow juice. So we might try and get a carton of that tomorrow. <coughs> So I think you can actually come now. If you do have bottles, you can uh, stick your bottle in and buy it now to refill. It's contactless payment and uh, tells you up there how to get your uh, milk topped up. Oh, so it actually looks like you can actually buy it now. Look, you've got uh, new cartons in here and uh, you have a go with that. Shall we get some? Yeah, get some. So we're going to get it now. You can get in a, a bottle from in the shop, a glass bottle, but we're just going to use one of these cartons now. We'll have a go because Safe's queuing up for this tomorrow. So what have you done there? Cleaning it, it's steaming it before we put our bottle in. So as you can see there, it's actually sterilising that unit in there now before we actually use it. So you do that every time you want to uh, get some milk out. So. So these are new bottles you can see, the tabs are, haven't been pulled on these so you know these are still fully clean and sterile. Okay, it says how to use the milk vending machine, open the door and position your bottle under the nozzle. Leave the door open so you can move the bottle if needed. So, so actually you need to take that cap off. Yeah, right so we've the took time. that off now, as I said that's a brand new bottle that. So as you can see the nozzle's up there, nozzle. but it says do leave the door open in case you do need to move your bottle about so you're getting it, you're not getting no wastage. <coughs> so we're just gonna clock it on now. I think. It's five pound credit oh, on. Oh, here we go, you have to select, sorry, you have to select one litre, which is the bottle size we've got, so. Right, so we've got one litre there, and that's so saying. one pound 20. Oh. See? It's done it. And it's already done it, look. Yeah. It did hit off my contactless. You have right. paved, so here we go. Hold and that bottle. Just hold it. You might and there you go. It. Fresh cow juice. <laughs> so we're getting fresh cow juice now. How much was that? £1.20. £1.20, that's not bad. That's good. I thought... Oh, yeah. That's cheaper than the shops. So it's just come off a bit short there because we did get a bit of a spillage at the beginning, but... <laughs> So we've got some nice cold cow juice now. We can go back and enjoy a nice cup of tea with that in a bit, can't we kids? Yeah. <laughs> right, shut that door back up then. So we've beat the queues basically, because tomorrow that'll be a nightmare. <laughs> That's steaming and it's just sterilising it. itself again now. After every, every one. And there you can see the old tractor up there. Diddly Squat Farm Shop. And that folks, just over there, if you can see that little building in the distance, that's the barn that if you did watch the program, he actually converted that into a little restaurant and uh, they did close it down for planning and all that sort of good stuff. So we've just come around the back here, you've got a little um, eatery here, a little food trailer, which the food looked quite good earlier. I say we was down here earlier having a look round and a couple of drinks. <coughs> And just coming in here, 
as you can see, you've got the bar in here. And when we were here earlier, there was all a load of stalls along this back of this barn. We had a bloke doing leather belts and stuff. And then you had some pictures and paintings and a few other things. And as you can see, it's all nicely presented in here. All lovely flowers on the tables, all fresh. And this is your, your bar here. These barn doors actually open up and they serve beer out of there and cool drinks. As you can see, it's all Hawkstone. So we have got a bottle of beer of that, the Hawkstone beer. And uh, well, beer. well Stacey's got a bottle of the Hawkstone beer to try later. Yeah, we'll have a look. As you can see, you got some That's uh, what I had earlier, the original premium one. So Stacey had the premium lager earlier, the four point eight percent. They got an Indian pale ale. So yeah, they've got a few selections there. And I say they do have uh, other drinks as well, soft drinks. And I think, I do remember this barn when the, the first series, I think it had an old sheep barn, this, wasn't it? Yeah, they, they did the lambs in here, didn't they? Yeah. They lambing, in, lambing in this shed. That's what it was originally built for. So there's plenty of seating out here, but I say these do get filled up really quick because it's a busy place, this is. We'll have to be here early in the morning. So, as you can see, them views there, we were sitting on that bench just behind us, and this is what we was looking out onto while I was having a drink this afternoon. You've got a keep off the crop sign there. And you've got Evie and Harry sitting on the diddly squat farm stone. There we go. That's another little photo point that, isn't it? So just take a look at that view. Just see across these farm for miles. And if I just stand up here, if you could just see there, across that field, that's actually Jeremy Clarkson's house there, so he's not far away from the farm, just across the field really. So I'll say we will come back tomorrow, but I'll say we won't be the, too much talking tomorrow because they do have a lot of loud music playing in here and in the shop as well, so we'll probably have a bit of music over that. So you can't really see in the shop window there because it's uh, lights are out, but they've got some local source produce in there. Honeys and jams by the looks of it, marmalades, a bit of fruit and veg. Bee juice. Yeah. Bee juice. <clears throat> a bit of merchandise up there, but I say, you can't really see, oh, if you're picking up now. It's, uh, it's not the biggest shop, but it's a busy one. And there's the opening times. Thursday, oh, it's Thursday to Sunday, not, sun, not Friday to Monday. So Thursday, half nine till four till Sunday. So yeah, we're actually staying, just literally just behind that hedge there. We're, that's where our van's parked up. So yeah, this is the road that causes a lot of problems with the locals because uh, it gets chock a block with cars on both sides along here. Even though there's a few cones that say don't park here, this in the morning will be chock a block. He has actually opened a field up just down here for diddly squat parking. But I say it's that busy, that soon fills up and then people park along this verge and uh, it causes a bit of chaos really. So as you can see, that's the diddly squat entrance there and our caravan site. So yeah, after we had our, our tea tonight, the um, chicken wrap was lovely. The halloumi, the battered halloumi, that was also lovely, but the chips, they weren't nothing special. They were just frozen chips out of the back of a trailer, basically, so I wouldn't recommend them. So this is our caravan site, the main entrance here. As you can see, it's all barriered. Uh, barrier shuts at 11 o'clock in the evening and that's it till um, morning then, so no through traffic after 11 p.m. at night. So I'm just gonna show you now around the park. I won't do much talking, I'll put a little bit of music on over this and we'll just take a look at this park. <laughs>
folks, it's the next morning now. It's about quarter to nine and uh, we're just gonna have a walk around. And we have heard a couple of motorbikes pulling up through the fence, <coughs> but it's still relatively quiet. I can see, it looks like there's one family there with about three or four kids there. So look how quiet this road is at the minute. Next, next half hour, it'll be uh, filling up around here. As I say, look, you can see there's just about one family in here. They had the same idea as us, and that's what the campsite warden told us to do if you do want to get in the shop early without the queue. You see there's about five or six cars actually, I didn't see them there, so whether they're staff or they're people waiting, we'll soon find out. Jeremy's sausage. I'm yeah. gonna get some of Jeremy's sausage to try there. It's all the lager ones. Yeah, go on. Pasties. Sorry guys, can I just come through to meet you? Sorry guys, just move out the way a minute please. No. Jeff. Hey. It's a candle. £22. Too Cornish looking, fantastic, I know. Get a couple of crisps, TV. That candle's 22 quid. Candle. That candle. Careful, look. No, just get a couple to try. Oh, are you doing videos? We are. Just setting up. That's alright. Really <laughs> That's okay. Right, folks, we're back at the shop now. It was a bit hard to um, film any decent footage in there because as soon as I opened that door, everyone just piled in, so we couldn't move about really. Not as good as footage as I wanted to get. But we did get a few bits in there. We got some of the Clarkson's crisps here. Um, we got a local loaf of bread and a few other little uh, bits and we'll bits and bobs. We'll, we'll, we'll show you when we get back to the van what we actually did get. But we're just going to have a sit here because the cafe opens at 10. We might have a little light bite from there and then before we head off we might cook some uh, sausages and bacon at the van. So as I say we can't film too much around here because you might hear there's music in the background so and a few of the stalls ain't set up yet. There's only a um, couple of stalls there at the minute so right folks we've come back to the van now we haven't bothered cooking any breakfast because it's um half 11 after we've packed everything away and we have to be off the site by 12. so we're just going to head out now we're going to have a look around in the chipping norton village we had a quick look in there yesterday uh so we're just going to have a quick stroll around there if we do get a bit hungry on the way home we can always pull over in a lay bar somewhere and cook a bit of uh, sausage and bacon up but we'll just turn the camera around now and we'll just show you us leaving the site and just see how busy the main road is outside uh, the Diddley Squat Farm. So on the left there there were some pitches and I say that's the main road behind these trees here and it gets a bit noisy there if you get that pitch. So we was lucky enough we was at the other end of the campsite and it's more shaded over here, a lot darker, you don't really get much sunlight on this side. A lot of people have already gone home, I've seen a lot of people packing up. So yeah, I say it is a 12 o'clock kickoff. this site. Toilet blocks and for washing up and things over there, fresh water. It's very clean inside. And these are your hard standing pitches here with an uh, electric hookup. Obviously we didn't need a hard standing one and we didn't need electric because obviously we got the 
solar powered on top and we don't really use a lot of electric in here <coughs> just for an overnight so this is the entrance and exit it's a one way in and out all barrier controlled as I said yesterday right so this is the main road Right, so we'll have a quick little ride down past the Diddley Squat Farm. So you can see now just how how busy it's getting with all the cars compared to what it was like this morning when we got here. And you look at that queue now. The queue over there. The lady said this morning the queue that long you're probably looking at about three to four hours to get in there. So yeah, it's got to be a good three or four hundred people. But yeah, we did get in there early doors. And we was lucky to get a bench because after after about half hour the benches were all gone. So yeah. There. There Gary showed you yesterday but that house just in the distance. It is Jeremy Clarkson's house, the one that he rebuilt after he blew up the original one that was there. The direction that we're heading at the minute is to Chadlington. Chadlington is the town that Jeremy, well, the Diddley Farm, a Diddley Squat Farm, sorry, um, sponsors the football club. We had a, a quick drive through here um, yesterday while we were waiting to get onto the campsite, and uh, it's a lovely, quaint little village. It's got a, a little coffee shop and it's got a village shop that is actually ran by the villagers. They wanted to close it down. Um, the owners were gonna sell it and all the villagers actually clubbed together to buy the shop and they all run it together. So that's nice. And they really do sell little bits of everything in there. Um, anything that you'd need for being away, you could probably get in this little shop. We're just gonna pass it. It's just here on the right hand side. So there's a butcher's joined onto it as well. And that's the little Chadlington quality foods. Oh. And right opposite is just here on the corner there. As you can see all the people sat outside, that's a little cafe coffee shop. It's beautiful little houses in this village. the meeting this is the town hall that you'll see on the on the season where Jeremy had the meeting with everyone and then you've got the football pitch just over that wall just there right folks we've just pulled up in the labor just outside Jeremy's house and I don't know if you could just see in the distance just there they're actually these little chicken coops if you remember them from the TV series you can see all the different colours. You've got yellow, red, green, blue, pink. and a pink one at the end there. So yeah, that's where he had all these chickens in the, uh, I think it was the first series, I think. So yeah, it doesn't look like there's much activity on over there at the minute, because they was all fenced off before, so maybe he hasn't got them anymore, he's moved them somewhere else. But I say all the fencing's been taken down to keep the foxes away, so maybe he's not got them over there now. We'll have a little walk down this uh, road here, the lane, and you should be able to see his house through the um, trees. Right, folks, so that's Jeremy's house there. And from here, with the naked eye, you can actually see us sitting outside there around the table. And we've just actually seen Jeremy get up and walk into the house. So, yeah, you can actually see him. That must be that back patio there. And they're out there having a, maybe a, a lunch. So, yeah, Jeremy is actually at home at the minute. So as you can see, it's a lovely big house he's got there, new build, and uh, all these outbuildings. And you can see the chicken houses from here as well. That, so yeah, big estate he's got up there. Right folks, so we're in Chipping Norton um, little village now. And uh, you've got a little Sainsbury's local on the corner there. And, uh, there might be a bit of wind noise, I haven't got the wind muffler, so 
I've uh, stuck it on my collar, hopefully you won't get no wind noise off of there. But yeah, it's a busy little place, this place. <clears throat> but it's all there, what you need. I say, you've got a WH Smiths here. A few of the big names, you've got a Barclays Bank, Caf Nero. Uh, you've got a few discount shops and charity shops. Mm -hmm. Nice little old pub over there. So yeah, we've got a load of little shops here, folks. But it's obviously because it's Sunday, a lot of the shops are closed now. Plenty of little eateries as well. Got a little uh, children's clothes shop here. And a smoothie and shake shop. So let's get Evie and Harry a little surprise shake. Look. Well, we're back in the van, folks. I got myself a little uh, coconut smoothie with pineapple in it, which is quite nice and refreshing on a day like today. Stacy got a what'd you get? Banana. She got a banana milkshake made with fresh bananas. So, yeah, we're just going to enjoy these now in the van. Head home. Uh, if we do get a bit peckish, we might pull over, as I say, in the day by and do a bit of cooking. If we do do that, we'll bring you back and we'll see you in a minute. Right then, folks, we're home now. We've been home about nine weeks, I think, isn't it? Yes. So I did pick the, forget to pick the camera up and do the outro, so we're going to finish it off now. We've still got the Halston lager. lager here. So... I'm not really a lager drinker, so Stacey's going to have a try of that. Lightweight. So, yeah, this was only 2 99 this bottle of lager. So Stacey's going to have a bit of that now. So I think this was 4.8% that, was it? I can't find, yeah, 4.8%. So she's going to give that a go and see what she thinks of that. It's nice. Very nice. It's nice, nice lager. Strong, but nice. Like Stella. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Strong tasting. So we also did have the sausages when we got back. Uh, they were alright, they were just like a normal butcher's sausage. I wouldn't say there was anything special. Yeah, the sausages were nice, but they, uh, they were a bit more expensive than what we'd pay for sausages here. And I don't even, I don't, they weren't anything special, like Gary said, they weren't anything special, but they were nice. It was nice as a treat to obviously get them from the Clarkson's farm shop, so, but yeah. So yeah, we thought we'd just quickly do this quick little outro for you. Uh, we did enjoy the farm. So we're actually off to, um, well, while you're watching this video, we're probably in Scotland now. So the next video you see might be um, a Scotland little vlog. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the little uh, Clarkson's video. We're gonna leave it here for this little one. Until next time, we'll see you about.